I want to talk about, before I let you go, Donald Trump um, and his campaign released a statement that he reportedly saw a um, historic $34.8 million in small dollar donations in the less than 24 hours from the verdict. And the campaign said that 29.7% of the donors are new to the platform when read. Are you surprised by this? I'm not. And in fact, his there were so many people who went on to the website that the site crashed from overuse. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, but I think it's a big deal that there are new donors. And that does surprise me a bit. I mean, uh, the, the fact that he got a lot of donations doesn't surprise me. The fact that he got new donations does. Because I think what that says is that um, people who who are not already uh, motivated in his camp think this was an unfair trial. But I've got to say, I do have friends across the political spectrum. And I wrote an article that appeared in um, uh, Spectator World uh, immediately after the verdict. And I said, this is not only damaging to Trump, it's damaging uh, to the New York courts, and it's damaging to our court system. And from two people who are on the left, who are friends of mine, I mean, I, I know them well, so they weren't just anonymous people. They both sent literally one line statements. One said, you're kidding. And the other said, sour grapes. And so they don't even think it's worth debating. It's so obvious. And I must have gotten, you know, a hundred letters from people who read the article and just said, this is an outrage. What this, the conviction, not my article, the conviction was an outrage. And so I do think it deeply splits the country uh, in a way we haven't uh, seen really uh, in a long time. And, and it comes on top of already existing deep divisions. Our country faces a lot of problems, and they're not temporary problems.